NASA Asteroid Tracker says that we have an asteroid that will skim Earth today and it will be running at more than 13,800 miles per hour towards us. Sebastian Ketley of Express UK reports and we're also going to see space weather, what they have to say. An asteroid hurtling through space, speeds exceeding 13,800 miles per hour, that's at 22,200 kilometers per hour, it's going to near miss the Earth later today. This is what NASA asteroid trackers have revealed. The asteroid, dubbed by NASA Asteroid 2019 KY, so it was found by the 2019 means it was found just recently, in the year 2019. Asteroid 2019 KY will swing by Earth this afternoon. The asteroid flying in the Earth's general direction towards a so-called Earth close approach. Uh, NASA suspects asteroid KY to zip by around 12.38 p.m. or 7.38 a.m. Eastern Time. And when this happens, NASA's asteroids tracker said the asteroid will reach speeds of around 6.19 kilometers per second or 13,846.6 miles an hour. Asteroid KY is an Apollo-type near-Earth object, NEO. That means it occasionally crosses paths with Earth's orbit. According to NASA's California-based uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, this space rock was first observed just recently, you won't believe it, just last week. May 26, 2019. Uh, they do catch the big ones. It's the smaller ones that can also, of course, damage us if they do impact. Now, this asteroid has been visiting the Earth, they say, since late 1990s, with its first close approach on September 30th, 1997. The last time the asteroid visited Earth's corner of space was December 19, 2015. The next flyby will occur this year again, in the morning, October 13, 2019. Uh, it doesn't say uh, if it'll be closer or farther away from us. NASA's JPL also estimates the asteroid measures about the range of 445 uh, feet, sorry, 45 to 105 feet, that's 14 to 32 meters in diameter. An asteroid this big could cause considerable damage if it entered the atmosphere at high speeds. When a 65.6 foot, that's 20 meter space rock, exploded recently over Russia's Chelyabinsk Oblast, that was in February 2013. The resulting air blast injured more than a thousand people and damaged 7,000 buildings with shards of glass blowing out windows. The unexpected incident, yeah, they didn't expect that asteroid. They uh, said it was coming from behind the sun, that's why they couldn't uh, view it. Maybe it was just too small for them to see, I have no idea. But it was unexpected. It also, um, thankfully, they said there's no need to panic because asteroid KY is expected to safely pass our planet without striking us. Based on NASA's trajectory calculations, even at its closest, the asteroid will miss Earth by an approximate 0.01412 astronomical units. The uh, one astronomical unit describes the average distance between the Sun and the Earth, which is about 93 million miles. That means the space rock is expected to skim our planet from a distance of about 1.3 million miles or 2.1 million kilometers. So this asteroid KY will come as close as 5.49 times the distance to the moon. NASA says as they orbit the sun, near Earth objects can occasionally approach close to Earth Note that a close passage astronomically can be very far in human terms, millions or even tens of millions of kilometers. As far as space weather tells us, we have June 4th, a network of 24 reported fireballs coming into Earth. I don't understand why they all seem to be coming into Earth. Uh, the diagram shows in our solar system all of the fireballs intersect at a single point, Earth. Color-coded velocity from slow being red to fast being blue. And there are a couple of yellow ones in here and orange as well. 
near-Earth near asteroids, potential hazardous asteroids PHAs, space rocks larger than approximately 100 meters that can come closer to Earth than 0.05 AU. None of the known PHAs in this list is on a collision course with our planet, although astronomers are finding new ones all the time, just like they found this one that's coming in today just a week ago. So there, on June 5th, there are 1,983 potentially hazardous asteroids that they list here. Uh, let's see now. Okay, the June 3rd is uh, KZ. And we have another one coming up tomorrow. KA, 2019 KA3. So uh, most of these have been found just this year, by the way. Amazing that they found them just this year. Most of them in this chart have been found just this year. Uh, okay, and uh, the one on June 6th, let's see, the velocity would be 7 kilometers per second. That's fast. Diameter is about 26, no, it's 3.9 kilometers per second. The diameter is 9 meters, so that's pretty small. Now, of course, it's good that they're tracking these asteroids. As we said, a lot of them they just found recently. But uh, what happens, and they are skimming us, uh, thank God. Now, what happens if they actually are uh, found to be on a collision course with Earth? Well, if they're small enough, perhaps most of it will burn in the atmosphere, or hopefully it won't fall on a populated area, but in the sea, as recently had been done about a month ago, one of these asteroids fell south of the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, and uh, no, of course nobody was there, no, it wasn't a populated area, thank goodness. But what happens if it's on a collision course with, uh, to impact Earth? Well, if it's big enough, it could, uh, depending on its size it, and where it falls, that's not good news if it's a populated area, obviously. And uh, from the recent, last uh, April, beginning of, of May, the asteroid exercise a drill that they had to uh, mitigate an asteroid did not work out at all well because in their tabletop exercise uh, they uh, supposedly nuked an asteroid but accidentally a piece cracked off and uh, hit New York City and of course uh, in that exercise there were a lot of casualties so that was a disaster, and uh, all these uh, exercises that they have concerning mitigating asteroids uh, or knocking them off their trajectory don't work out. These, these types of ex uh, um, exercises and drills take place every two years. The next one will be in two years, I think, in uh, Vienna or somewhere in Europe anyway. Um, so do they have a way to um, protect Earth from asteroid impacts? Well, the way things stand now, the answer is unfortunately uh, dim. No, they don't. So hopefully they will have some kind of a program, an international program, to make sure that all the countries get together and get their brightest brains and engineers and scientists together as to how we can protect Earth from these celestial bodies that could impact the Earth because we have the Earth filled with impact craters from uh, north, south, east to west. Um, even the Chelya, the um, uh, Yucatan Peninsula um, asteroid strike that took place 66 million years ago supposedly uh, caused the dinosaur extinction. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel.
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.